In this video, we'll bounce the equation PbNO3 2 plus Na3 PO4. That's lead to nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Pb, we have one. And then NO3, that's called the nitrate group. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together in the reaction. We have nitrate here and nitrate here. So we just call this one item. So I have one of these times two, two nitrate ions. Sodium three, PO4, that's the phosphate ion. We have one here, it stays together, another PO4 here. So we can just call this one item. And we have one phosphate here. On the product side, three leads, one nitrate, one sodium, and one of the phosphates times two, we have two of those. Why don't we fix the lead first and see what happens? We need three on this side to balance these three. So we'll put a coefficient of three, one times the three, That'll give us three leads, and then we have two times the one, so we have two nitrate groups. So two times three, that'll give us six nitrates. Let's balance the nitrates now. We have six here and one here, so we would put six in front of the sodium nitrate. So one times six, that would give us six sodiums, but one nitrate times six, that would balance the nitrates. It looks like if I wanted to have six sodiums here to balance these six, I could just put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium phosphate. Three times two, that'll balance the sodiums. And then we have the one phosphate times the two. That gives us two, and we are done. This equation is balanced. So by counting these polyatomic ions, that's just one item if they appear on both sides. That makes the balancing a lot easier and you're much less likely to make mistakes counting all these oxygens up everywhere. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for lead to nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.